Hi, my name is Sharon and I'm with Student Financial Services. In this short video, I'm going to explain the difference between federal direct subsidized loans and federal direct unsubsidized loans. If you need to borrow money for college, you'll likely need to take a loan. A loan is money that you must pay back with interest. Federal direct student loans are offered to students by the federal government to help you pay for college. Students generally do not need to pay these loans back until after they've completed their education. The type of interest that accrues is different based on the type of loan that you take. With subsidized loans, you are awarded an amount based on your financial need. Subsidized means that the interest due on the loan is not the responsibility of the student while the student remains enrolled as at least a half-time student. The interest is subsidized or paid by the Department of Education during the enrolled period. So as a student, you do not have to pay interest while you're in school. The maximum federal loan amount for a first year student is $5,500. And up to 3,500 of that can be subsidized if you qualify for need-based aid. Unsubsidized loans are offered regardless of your financial need. Unsubsidized means that the student is responsible for the accrued interest during the enrollment period. The interest is capitalized and included in the repayment terms of the loan once the student leaves half-time student status. You don't have to begin repaying your student loans until after you leave college or drop below half-time enrollment. The government charges an origination fee, which is approximately 1% before they disperse the loan. For example, if you borrow $1,000, $990 will actually pay to your account. Undergraduate federal loans also have a fixed interest rate. Those interest rates can be viewed at studentaid.gov. If you have any questions or want to talk about this topic more, please come and see us. And otherwise, have a great semester.